barely see me. Hello, family and friends. Good morning. Day 184 or 5, I have no idea. Uh, October 28th, Thursday. 15 miles of Newfound Gap. And uh, spectacular sunrise, as you can see, lighting up the sky. It's supposed to start raining in about an hour or two. Uh, Newfound Gap, we're getting out of the park for three days, well, two days. Coming back Sunday. Uh, it's supposed to snow tomorrow and the next day. How much, who knows. So we're going to Gatlinburg. Everybody's got a hotel room. I got a hotel with my Hilton points at the Garden Inn. Let's try, let's try and spend as less money as possible. So hopefully it's a lot better day than yesterday. Yesterday was tough on me. So here we go. Bookworm and two hats are in front of me. Very windy. Especially wind gusts at 30, 35 mile an hour. In order to get the Newfound Gap, we got to climb over 6,000 feet and drop down. But it's bad news that Soundscape got news on Twitter that the road to Newfound Gap is closed. If that's the case, that's our only way out. And we're stuck up here. I don't understand why it would be close. It's just windy. I mean, you can see some clouds. And some blue up there to the west. Or to the east. I don't know. This is the one you put in God's hands and ask for protection and safety. No matter what happens. All right, I just wanted to show you this. Even though I'm trying to run through here, couldn't pass up this beautiful view. Okay, well, we are off the AT on, we're off uh, on the huge ridge trail. We're going to travel. Newfound Gap Road is closed into Gartenburg. We can't get there from here. So, this is an alternate way to get out of the park and into Gatlinburg. I'm gonna take this trail nine miles into Cherokee. And hopefully we can get a shuttle from Cherokee to Gatlinburg. That's the plan right now. As far as when we get back on trail, that's a problem for another time. Right now, we're getting off trail Getting out of the park because uh, of the weather that's coming up. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's in store, but we'll keep you in tune or abreast of further development.
What a day this has been. Unbelievable. Honestly, this day almost broke my spirit. Why am I here? Anyway, uh, there was there was bad weather. I explained this before. There's bad weather up in the mountain. Rain, snow the next two days. We're not equipped for snow. I don't want to deal with snow as I'm hiking. And um, so we decided uh, to get out of, out of Dodge and get the rooms here in Gatlinburg for the next couple of days. However, we found out this morning that the road at Newfound Gap leading into Gatlinburg, the only way out of the Smokies, was closed because of high winds, because there was trees down blocking the roadways. So our shuttle driver let us know that you can't get up there. So what do we do? We're not going to spend a cold night, 6,000 feet. 6,000, the Ice Water Spring Shelter, we were supposed to stay in tonight, it was 6,035 feet elevation. And it's going to be cold because it's going to be rainy um, tonight. And it changed it over to snow. So we took a side trail off of a, the shelter before, Peck's Corner Shelter. And that was a 10-mile side trail, non-18 miles. So unfortunately, we only did five 18 miles today. We did 15 miles. Only, only five counted. And uh, it was the, the trail sucked, basically. Rocky. It, was just, it just sucked. I hated it. It almost broke my will to even continue this hike. Um, and then as we got further closer to... Uh, we had to go to a campground. This, this um, Stony Mountain campground, something like that. Um, our, our shuttle driver said, oh, I, can't, I can't pick you up because I can't get there. Um, so we were kind of stuck. So I remembered that my niece lived in Tennessee. Not quite sure how close she was, so I had my number one trail angel um, call her and find out how close she was. And I got her number and I spoke to her and she, uh, she said, anything you want, uh, I'm, I'm ready to come and help you. So... Uh, I let her know that I'm hiking with three other guys, what the deal was, we're, we're, we're hiking, pick us up at this place, um, which is really basically three hours away from her, and we were three hours away from, from getting to the campground. So she, through the goodness of her heart, God bless her, um, she came and took us, picked us up at the, at the, uh, the campground, and drove us another hour and a half to Gatlinburg. She lives about two hours, two and a half hours away. And she's a school teacher, so she's got to get up tomorrow. I was going to have her stay in a room just so she can sleep here. But she has, she's a school teacher, so she's got to be in class tomorrow. Anyway, so she, she brought us into Gatlinburg. Um, we're going to be here for the next couple of days. Uh, we have to figure things out. I, like I say, I almost, it almost broke my will today to even continue this hike. But uh, I'm so close, it would be a shame. To, I'm not going to quit. I don't quit. So we're, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to start in Gatlinburg, uh, like a newfound gap. The newfound gap to where we got off the trail is 10 miles. So we may, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what we're going to do about those 10 miles. We'll have to figure it out. Anyway, so we're here in Gatlinburg. Um, I will not, I'm not going to do a uh, video... I may, you know what, I may do a video of Gatlinburg because this, this place is crazy. It's a real tourist town. I was here, uh, my number one trail engine and I were here maybe 10, 12, 12 years ago. I don't, I don't remember it being as lively as it is right now. It's almost like Times Square in New York. Anyway, so that's it, that's it for today. Um, I have to figure out... Uh, I had some issues with my phone, as, as I, I explained and, and there's some lost clips and things like that. I have to assemble them and get them back online. So we're going to do that in the next couple of days, and I'll be uploading some videos in time. So thank you for watching. Um, thank you for your comments. I do see them on email once I got into cell coverage. So I'll go through those comments. I'll answer those comments. Thank you very much. God bless. Have a good evening, and we'll see you uh, eventually, maybe tomorrow. Bye. Oh yeah, by the way, my room comes to the fireplace. How about that, huh?
Okay, I needed to show you that. Good night.